How would you like it if I told you you can make $400 to $1,000 a day with only doing four simple steps to start a business? Now, if you're watching this video, we all have our heads in the same place and we're all looking for entrepreneurship. We're all looking to make more money than what we are probably working our nine to five jobs. And congratulations, you're on your first step to entrepreneurship and you're gonna learn exactly how you can make $1,000 a day if you stay tuned to the end of this video. You finally got out of bed and just said this nine to five is not for me and I need to take that first step to start making a thousand dollars a day. In today's video I'm going to teach you exactly how to start a cargo van business in only four simple steps. Yes guys four simple steps and under two thousand dollars in startup costs. This cargo van business can be very lucrative just depending on how much you're trying to drive and how much you're trying to hustle but we're going to get into all of that later so stay tuned for more after the intro. Woo! Oh, yeah. Before we start the video off, don't forget to check out the links in the description where you can schedule an online consultation with me, guys. You can schedule a coaching call and get 10 to 30 minutes of conversation with me for only just $10. And in this coaching call, I'll help you start up your cargo van business, your box truck business. I'll even give you the insights and my experiences that I had in this business. And also, I do help you start online business. And even if you want to, I can make you a drop shipping store. All right, so now over here on the Black Investors Group mini whiteboard, and over on this whiteboard, man, this is where it all goes down. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's mini because we make investing easy. You know, we do it in the simplest way, so we don't need all the space, man. We're going to simplify how to start this cargo van business the easiest way as possible, so let's get right into it. And for the first thing that you're going to need for this business, guys, is going to have to be the first thing you're going to need is, of going course, your LLC and that goes along with your business bank account. So the reason you need an LLC is, you know, any reason, any business needs an LLC. So you can be legal, so you can start getting payment, so payment can start going through your LLC, so taxes can line up and all of that. And that's where the business bank account also aligns so that you can start writing off some of your purchases. So with this business bank account, guys, it's gonna correlate to your LLC. So let's just say your uh, trucking company is called Lot of Trucking, LLC. So your LLC will be Lot of Trucking LLC, and then your business bank account will be Lot of Trucking LLC, you know, as a bank account. And your LLC will have its own EIN number, just like how you have your social security number. The LLC has its own social security number. It's called EIN. So with this EIN, now guys, when you get your business bank account, they will need your EIN number, and now you can start getting paid through your bank business bank account so let's just say you're going to warehouses to pick up loads from let's say you're going to a ups warehouse just for an example um they will send the money to your business bank account and the bank account will be under your llc so this relates to also your w9 right here guys and the w9 is going to be for independent contractor but we're going to get into that later and i'm going to show you some methods on how you can get independent contracts but for the second thing you're going to need for this business is going to have to be your ucr so this stands for united carrier registration and you will only need this UCR if you're trying to go over state lines guys all right so if you're trying to go over state lines interstate you're gonna need this UCR and it is $41 for only one truck and the price goes up if you have multiple trucks so now the big question is do I need a UCR if I'm trying to get local loads all right so like I said it's $41 for this UCR paperwork filing and pretty much once you file this UCR it'll go to your DOT if you have a DOT but, but um, if you do decide to get this UCR like I said you'll be able to go across state lines and if you don't get this UCR you will be subject to just staying in your state staying in your home city and that might be good for some of you because some of you might not want to go out of your state every day or every week but like I said $41 to go over to the state lines is not too bad it's a one-time fee for the year so it does renew yearly and it's $41 and that is literally like 
5% of one single low that you can get guys $41 now you can go over state lines and make more money with your cargo van So don't sleep on the UCR go ahead and fill it out Just so that you don't miss out on any opportunities and the third thing that you're going to need for this business is of course the van and Insurance guys, so now like I tell you in all my videos and all my explanation videos on how to start a cargo van business you want to get your van from Facebook Marketplace. You can easily get this from Facebook Marketplace. And on Facebook Marketplace, you can find you a van for five to ten thousand dollars anywhere from 2011 up to the recent, you know, 2018 years. So, yes, guys, you can get a van from Facebook Marketplace if you're not so sure that you want to fully get into this business, invest in a whole thirty thousand dollar Ram Promaster van. Go ahead, take it slow, get you a five thousand, six thousand dollar van from Facebook and do some local loads in your local area. Now, off of Facebook Marketplace, the van that I had was only six thousand dollars, twenty eleven for Eco Line van. And it ran pretty good. It ran good. Um, no problems out of it whatsoever for me. And they do have a lot of vans similar to that on Facebook Marketplace. Now, what you do have to watch out for is if your van is older than 10 years, a lot of people and brokers and companies don't necessarily want to work with older vans. So they want to keep their company looking good with these newer vans. So if you are trying to get an older van, make sure the person that you're trying to work under will allow a 10 year old van. So that's what I have to say about that. And the insurance. Now, the insurance, you will need a couple of classifications for this. So, for the insurance, guys, you are going to need a $100,000 cargo insurance. So, you're going to need, let's see where we can put this. Let's get our black marker here. Uh oh. You're going to need a 100K cargo liability, is what it's called. You're going to need 100k cargo liability and you're also going to need 750k of auto liability all right so if you wanted to get your dot and mc number you will need 1 million auto liability but for this case guys it's just cargo van it's much simpler than box truck and semi you just need this 100k and you're also going to need some type of auto liability as well and another depending on your company that you're trying to work with if you're trying to work for Amazon, I already know that they're trying to get you to have general liability insurance. So you want to have your general liability insurance as well, depending on if you need it or not. Like I said, you can do your due diligence before you hop into this industry on who you want to work for. But even if you do go ahead and get your general insurance, so let's just make an arrow down here, general liability if you did want to go ahead and get your general liability insurance, guys, and you don't need it at the end of the day, you know, once you find out who you want to work for, then you can just go ahead and call your insurance agent and take that off of there. So there's no worries, no extra costs or nothing per month. Just take it off. So the fourth thing and the final thing to start this business, and pretty much this is where we get to the money, guys, is going to be your... gig apps I mean it's pretty much simple as that once you have your LLC your business bank account set up now you're ready to go you can start getting paid once you get your UCR you can start going out of state then if you don't already have so you know your van and your insurance and guys another thing about insurance that you're probably wondering is how much you pay how much I pay for my cargo van insurance was $800 a month for, I said, that 2011 for Ecolon van. So for somebody like yourself, it might be $1,000 or it might be $600 or it might even be four or $500, just depending on the coverage that you need. I had the full coverage that I needed for a box truck because I did go ahead and get my MC. So I had 100K cargo. I had the $1 million auto liability and also I had a hundred I know one million dollar general liability as well so I had all the three coverages man and um yeah so it just depends on who you go with I went with progressive because if you have accidents on your record progressive is one of the few commercial insurance companies that will actually still let you drive with them so 
that is who I went with. But like I said, gig apps, man, it's a lot of gig apps. I have a lot of videos over the channel about how to get loads, where to get your loads from. And in my previous video, guys, go ahead and check that out if you haven't looked at it. I have 10 new load boards that I have posted or 10 gig apps, so you should say. And um, yeah, guys, good gig apps. You got Rody, you got things like Curry Driver, you got Dolly, you got Shipped, you got Shipley, you got GoShare, you got Amazon Flex, and so much more more guys those are just the ones off the top of my head but you guys can go ahead check out that video boom right there get you started with some gig apps and I also have another video of 20 different load boards and gig apps that you can even use with your four-door car so go ahead and check that out man and back to the W9 so for this W9 you can just print this out online just type in W9 and go ahead and print it out and with this W9 it's pretty much like kind of like your bank account and routing members, but for your business LLC. So this is how the government, the IRS, kind of regulates businesses. And so when you're trying to work for an independent contractor, and this is how you get independent contractors, let's say you're on a gig app like GoShare, and boom, they send you to a paint store or a tire shop. Now you're going to go into this establishment to tell them that you're here to pick up the load, and you're trying to, you know, you're gonna have to get the load done and do good work. So once you probably go there once or twice, same people are there, and they recognize your face, you just wanna offer them their services that you can make dedicated lanes that you can come back and forth every day and drive for them. And they might have a spot open for you that they need tires or paint cans moved every single day. And now you can make a $50 in one single route per day in your home city. And then you have another play working for you somewhere else that you're probably working eight to one o'clock p.m. and then you can move some tires once per day and make a quick $50. So now you profit $150 for the day. So that's how you get independent contractors. You just wanna network. Once you get to these warehouses, guys, network with the manager. If you're at the shipping desk and you're talking to the receiver or whatever, ask to speak to a manager or ask and see if they have dedicated lanes that go out every single day in the local area and so try to secure you some dedicated lanes, independent contractor. But once you print out this W-9 form, you would fill it out. You would just put your business name and your EIN number. You would put the EIN. And once you put that, that's pretty much it. The independent contractor has your EIN number. Now, when it comes to tax time, it's reported that you've made such and such with this business. Or when that business has to do their taxes versus who they paid out, now it's reported that they've paid you such and such money in that year. So that's pretty much what the W-9 is for. You're probably gonna need that if you're trying to go cargo van intrastate so intrastate is in state interstate is out of state guys so you're probably definitely gonna need this w9 sometime in your career especially if you're trying to work with a dispatcher things like this guys a lot of people want to see these w9s because some of these gig apps um they don't necessarily always pay to your business bank account or you know when you go to these warehouses and get these independent contracts they're not just gonna sell you money to your business bank account has to go through the W-9 first, and then it'll go to your business bank account, guys. So that is how you can start a cargo van business and only four simple steps. That is it for today's video, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful, and I hope you guys are looking forward to starting up your entrepreneurship journey. If you do want more tips on investing, I do have crypto trading, guys. I do trade in the markets, binary options. I do do online business as well, and also a lot of different ways to make money in this trucking industry besides the cargo van and box truck. I will teach you how to make passive income in the trucking industry, guys. So don't forget to like and make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you can keep up with this daily investing content. You can't get to the top unless you get inside the elevator first, guys. So you have to build your business structure first so that you can get to the top, man. So let's get to the top. 
together. Don't forget to like this video. Make sure you push it out the YouTube algorithm so a lot more other people can learn how to make this money the easy way. And don't forget to subscribe so you can stay tuned to this daily content. Don't but forget to check out the links in the description. You can schedule a call with me. I'll help you start your business and I'll tell you everything about this business. Also as well, we do have the YouTube memberships for exclusive, exclusive investing content. Money. But with all that being said, my name's King Water. You're watching Black Investor.